right, so we, we kind of showed you an overview of what the Kestrel Elite here can do. And I really wanted to kind of delve into what the app can do in terms of the link. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons you would probably buy one of these. Uh, aside from the ballistic ability, the ability to do all of your pre-work into a, your phone or uh, pad. And I'm using my pad here uh, because it's a little bit bigger and easier for you to see uh, at the range I use my phone. Uh, but uh, I, I just kind of came up with some different stuff in here to show you what it can do. So we're going to put this down for a minute and we're going to concentrate on the app. Now there's a couple of uh, really simple things. Now these are represented uh, over here also to some extent, but uh, we have single target engagement, which is just going to bring up um, kind of one target and, and you can make an adjustment in here, but that's really not uh, what we're in here for. Uh, what we're in here for is the gun profile management and the target card, uh, which also is the range card. So uh, let's go to gun profile management first. So you can create multiple uh, guns in here. So, you know, maybe you have a, you know, a 6.5, a 6, a 7 Som, a, a 284, you know, whatever, a Dasher, a BRX, whatever. You've got four, five, six different guns and this allows you to create a profile for each of them. So I just created a, you know, just kind of a generic 284 uh, gun for the purposes of this video. And what that lets me do is a lot of things that are on a, other ballistic calculators. So you can name it. Uh, so this one just happens to be called test profile, uh, bullet diameter, weight, ballistic coefficient, all easily found on most bullet manufacturers boxes, muzzle velocity, uh, your zero range, bore height, stuff like that. Now, let's say you are entering any of this. And, and this, I'll be honest, this is something that this app does that a lot of other apps don't do well. Is not everybody knows what the difference between bore height and zero height and zero offset and all this other stuff is. They're really good about telling you, you just tap on it, zero range. 100 yard meters is recommended to avoid zero shifts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. What is bore height? Well, we want to measure from the center of the bolt to the center of your windage turret. Great, you know, now I can make sure I have accurate numbers. Zero height, if you're using a suppressor or night vision, well, I'm not, so I know I don't need to put a number in. Uh, it also explains what the difference between TMOA is, which is true mills, uh, versus uh, like shooter mills, which is one inch at 100, two inch at 200. Um, I prefer to shoot at uh, true mill or true minute. Um, anyway, uh, it lets you know what you should be putting in here. And I really like that feature, um, you know, again, just because it makes sure you're putting in correct data. So we're going to go ahead and save that. So now we have a good gun profile. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure we send this gun profile to the Kestrel. So we need to select. We're going to tap on the gun profile we want to send. If I had multiple guns, I could send them all. And we're going to click on Send Profiles. So there you go. Now it's going to say, this will overwrite your Kestrel. Okay. Now you can also append it, which will create um, sort of like secondary uh, account, uh, secondary profile. I don't really like doing that. I, I want to make sure that my devices all are the same. If I update something, there's a reason and there's probably a reason they all need to be done. I'm sure there are reasons out there that I don't know because I don't know everything. But for me, overwrite is what I like. So we're just going to overwrite it. That is now sending it to my Kestrel and it is overwriting the data in here. So I will show you where that data is um, right now. So we're going to go into ballistics and then we're going to scroll down and gun is on test profile. And now it says, okay, there's my feet per second, uh, my G7 profile, what the ballistic coefficient is and all of the other data I can look up easily. So enter it here, really nice and clean and pop it over. All right, so now that we have a gun in here, we need to put in our target card. And then there is also a range card that is automatically created uh, within the unit. And I'll explain the difference because it, it, it can seem confusing. Well, if I have a target card, why do I need a range card? The biggest difference is the target card. And this is something that if I'm not mistaken, only the Elite will let you create 10 different cards. I believe there are a few other models that will let you create several targets. 
Uh, but the Elite is the only one that lets you do a full 10 card target card. So the difference is the target card lets you dictate what range and, and other features for 10 targets specifically. So maybe you get to a match and you get to laze out every target ahead of time. You can come in here and boom, 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 exactly what needs to be done instead of, you know, flipping through the phone uh, or, you know, the, the elite and uh, pulling up a, a specific range like, oh, okay, it's 600. Let me see what the come up is. You have all this data at your fingertips, which is also on here, which I'll show you in a second. So you can do two different things with this. If I have been out shooting and I've made adjustments in here, I can actually pull my targets down from the Elite into uh, the app and then work with them. Or in this particular case, maybe I created them ahead of time and I want to export them. That'll send them to the Kestrel. So it's really nice, especially if you have a new device. Um, you know, like I did stuff on my phone first, then I used my tablet. All I had to do was hit pull targets and it right there, pulled them all in. Now there's pull targets, there's export targets. And then of course, in the middle, we have edit targets. We can change the ranges and we can change the direction of uh, fire. Now it's hard to show you on here, but if I have my phone or my tablet, but my phone more specifically, because that's what I've used, whatever direction your phone is facing, it will automatically, when you hit this compass, like right now it's facing down, so it's weird, but See how when I tap on it, it's at 58 degrees. So um, so I am updating the direction of fire to 58 degrees on everything. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you don't have to go back to here to find your direction of fire. The phone is doing it for you for your car. Now there's a little arrow I can tap over and we have wind directions that we can change. We have wind speeds. And again, that can all be pulled. Uh, I don't know how to explain this, but so... Over here, you've got this little fan that will pull the data from the uh, Kestrel if you click on that. And that'll update all of this, so wind speeds, wind direction, stuff like that. And then you can change your um, target speed if it's moving, uh, if you have a mover. And if your um, angle is up or down from your shooting position, you can also change that. Um, and I believe this will also, yeah, see, it's already changing because of where my tablet is. Um, I haven't actually tried this laying down, so that's why I wasn't sure what it would do. But uh, you can change your target speed, and then we're back to range and direction of fire. So lots of good information that you can put in here ahead of time for all of your targets that you plan on shooting. Now, when you're done, it's great, right? Because we just put send targets and compute. So now that I've updated whatever it is here, we're going to send the data. Uh, this will replace your data. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So now it is going to send all of my data back over here. It is now updating my card, okay? So when you hit save, it does not update your, uh, your calculations. You must export and calculate in order for this and this to have the correct uh, come ups and win calls. All right, so now that we've done that, let's take a look in here again. We are still in the ballistics. Uh, if we go back here, we're in ballistics mode. Uh, and so now we're going to come down to the, there's range targ, targ, ugh, range card and target card. We're going to go to range card first, and I'll show you how simple that is. That is simply uh, every 25 yards, you have a, a ballistic solution. So if on the fly, you need to know, maybe in here, I don't have a 325 yard target on my card. Well, I can come in here and go right to 325. I'm at 3.86 come up. And I'm, I'm just barely holding left um, a little bit. So it's really nice. And I can scroll really quickly through if I need to. I can just hold down, um, you know, and I can go out, uh, you know, quite a way. So, you know, maybe I want to go out to 2,000 yards. I'm doing a bench rest match and, you know, oh, shoot, I forgot. Well, I need a 100 minute come up and I'm going to hold 1.86 minutes left. Uh, so lots of really great things you can do with the range uh, card. But again, it's not specific to maybe the match that I'm at. So we're going to come back and go to target card. Now, all of my solutions are in here. Target A, B, C, D, my elevation and my wind. Uh, and then I have my wind and my trace. Uh, this also calculates flight time and some other things too. Uh, but it's really nice that all of this can be entered ahead of time and then thrown in. And then I can make the decision during the match 
um, well, you know, maybe I lazed it wrong and, and it's actually 50 yards shorter. Okay, well, now I can come back real quickly, hit the range card, uh, come back and find, uh, you know, 50 yards shorter and see uh, what that's done. Or maybe I'm a couple hundred yards off or maybe uh, they changed a target and I need to make a quick adjustment. I can do that all in here. So the the relationship between the app and the Kestrel I think is a really great, um, I mean, it's obviously a great selling point, but I think it's a really great feature that, um, you know, allows you to maximize what this thing is capable of. Now, there's obviously your standard settings. You can change temperature and pressure and wind, you know, whether it's miles per hour, kilometers per hour, yards, meters, whatever. Uh, no snake on this, only on the Kestrel. Uh, and then this, this button down here is going to be my profiles, uh, like we talked about, and then back home. So, you know, the, the app does exactly what you need it to, a few extra things above that. But really what it seems like they've done is they've really targeted the app to maximize what the Kestrel can do and to give you the tools to put in the data that you need, get it into your Kestrel, and have this be your only uh, necessary piece of equipment. And you know, again, I've seen guys pull out a phone and then, an, an, uh, you know, an anemometer and, and, you know, maybe they've got something else that they're using and, and whatnot. Um, you know, it gets a little clunky. And, uh, I mean, I'm a gadget guy. I like having gadgets. Uh, but the more I play with this and the more I realize that it is the only tool I need to have to really have an effective day of shooting, uh, it really makes me happy. And, uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's it's just a really well made thing. Uh, it's it's got these rubber gaskets and you know tri easy you know double A batteries, uh, well protected. Uh, you know the bottom line is it does what it's supposed to do, and I think that's everything that you can ask of it.